after all the water changes and all the cleaning of this tank, this tank is finally ready for some fish. What is up you guys welcome back to another video and you guys today well this video is going to be kind of a sad video but it's also going to be a really cool video at the end of the video so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video you guys let's go ahead and get right into what this video is mainly about see you guys in my previous video at the end of the video i told you guys a little bit about what happened where i didn't really say much because i wanted to save it for this video all i said basically was that like something happened uh on the last day that I was fishing there um and orange beach and well uh that's what this video is going to be about I said that the kid that was in that video came in like really really clutch for me because if it weren't for him that wouldn't even have been a video so uh yeah thanks to him by the way i think he said his birthday was wednesday so today's thursday so if you're watching this tucker happy happy late birthday man but anyways you guys so i got out there the earliest i'd been getting out there i'd usually been getting out there around 6 6 30 to go fishing i'd catch my pinfish and then i'd get right into fishing you guys that day i got out there around five o'clock so it was pretty early for how or how late i'd been getting out there see you guys i got my pinfish i got uh both the rods out there and then that's when the boat started coming in so this pontoon boat with a lot of people came by, saw that we were out there with fishing rods and everything, and the dude just goes right over my lines, and while he's pulling me, you know, what you gotta do when, you, when you're in that situation, you just cut the line, you save your reel. See, I pulled one of the sea lines out of the rod holder, one was still in the rod holder. You guys, while I was trying to find my scissors on the pier, while I was trying to find my scissors on the pier, that's when one of the poles got drug right into the water, and then the line just broke off the, uh, that was in the rod horse that was pretty good that i saved one of the reels however you guys the one that went into the water was the sea line that was in almost every single one of my videos that i caught a ton of fish with i really only caught like a whole bunch of catfish with it on my channel but i also caught a lot of other fish with it that you guys did not even see you guys i have another sea line but i rarely ever use it I usually only use it when i go saltwater fishing and mainly because like the little bell that you flip open and let the line come out is bent and then also when you're reeling the reel will come like loose sometimes you're always having to tighten it so it is it's really kind of messed up like halfway works fortunately guys the one that went into the water was actually the one that is in a lot of my videos and i was like oh my gosh are you kidding that's like my favorite favorite rod and reel and now it's gone so yeah, i had to do a lot of searching for these clips but you guys i put a put together a little tribute video for that sea line so uh here it is you guys go back to some of my old videos and go back to oldest to newest so here it is and enjoy guys check out where this catfish is hooked at right there in his dorsal pin. So you guys, that was the tribute video, you guys, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it, it was, it was pretty sad, you know, the, all those catfish that we caught with the sea lion and that freaking sea turtle, and uh, yeah, well now it's gone. I guess the other sea lion will have to carry on its legacy and hopefully we can uh, re kind of repair it. So you guys, the way that that kid came in clutch for me was that he actually got line for that reel, he actually gave me some of his line, now keep in mind this was 60 pound mono. Okay, I had 65 pound braid and braid is like 60 pound braid and 60 pound mono are like totally different. 60 pound mono is like five times thicker than freaking 60 pound braid. It's crazy. Guys, I could barely have any line on there. I could only cast out probably about 
40 yards or so. so that like really really sucked you know after we thought about it i was like hey i didn't get nothing good out of it that guy didn't get nothing good out of it but if anyone got a little bit of a kick out of it it was us because well just think about it that guy had a ton a ton of braided line and braided line is very hard to cut through had a ton of it wrapped around his motor that guy had a heck of a time trying to get that out of his motor hey it was it was his fault going over our going over my line so yeah you guys after all that you guys let's finally go and do what the good part of this video is about you guys here's the tank i've been doing a lot of work with this tank off of camera and all that just because i i didn't think it'd be very entertaining to watch and all that but you guys after all the water changes and all the cleaning of this tank this tank is finally ready for some fish now you guys the fish i'm going to be putting in here is this rock bass right here in that tank right there. I know he stares at this tank all day long. And then in the back back there, there's a big crawfish. So we're gonna be putting both of those guys into the tank. And hopefully the, everything goes good. So you guys, here we go. I'm about to get this rock bass. He is about to go into a much, but it's only a 20 gallon. And it's only like half full because I put bait fish in here sometimes. So here we go, you guys. If I can just get him, hopefully everything goes good in here. All right, there he is. And you guys, he is now in his new tank. Check him out. So he's a little bit freaked out right now. I think I would be too, but he's gonna get used to this thing. I think he's gonna really, really like it. I hope he does. Hope everything goes good in here. And now, let's get the crawfish. You guys, we actually caught this crawfish in a creek fishing video or dip netting video a while back. So this is like one of those weird looking crawfish. He's got like orange stripes on him. That you can barely see, but they're on him. They just get all that pollen out of there. What the freak, bro? All right, he is actually onto the net right there. <laughs> Guys, the crawfish into the tank right there. I think he will really like it with the sand and then the driftwood. He can go and like dig out the sand and stuff and make him a little, oh, he's going wild now. Oh, he's going berserk now. He's in the, they're both in the back corner back there. I know this is kind of a sad video and also kind of a really really good video actually that we're finally getting fish in the tank i will be giving you guys updates on both of those guys the rock bass and the coral fish i said hope hopefully everything goes good and as long as they're doing good within the next few days or so i will add the catfish and then eventually we'll add the bass and the gar so you guys i think that's gonna be just about it for this video if you guys liked it please make sure you guys drop a like on it make sure you guys subscribe if you have not and i will see you guys in the next video peace